welcome today we'll discuss modified lankine cycle in our previous video we discussed lankine cycle for thermal power plant so in lankine cycle or the cycle for the thermal power plant there are four components in this pv diagram process 3 4 represents pumping process process 4 1 represents heat addition in the steam boiler process 1 2 represents the prime mover it may be steam turbine or reciprocating steam engine and process 2 3 represents condensation process in the condenser if we do not consider this pump condenser and boiler and only consider the engine part the prime mover part then that type of cycle is called Rankine engine cycle and in Rankine engine cycle only prime mover is considered not the whole cycle so this pumping process heat supply process and condensation process or heat rejection process will not be considered we consider the Rankine engine cycle that means this is cycle for the engine only so in a steam engine it is actually a reciprocating steam engine in a reciprocating steam engine steam is received at the high pressure that means a high pressure high temperature steam enters inside the cylinder and it pushes the piston from tdc to bdc and that is work done and in the next stroke while the piston moves from bdc to tdc the steam is exhausted from the cylinder and that we call the rejection of heat at low pressure so this is the process in a reciprocating steam engine we will consider steam engine as the prime mover this is a pv diagram for a reciprocating steam engine without any clearance volume we have not shown the clearance volume here process one two is expansion of steam inside the cylinder process 2 3 is exhaust of the steam from the cylinder to the outside or to the atmosphere and this process 4 1 is receiving of high pressure high temperature steam to the cylinder so this is one cycle and this cycle is called Rankine engine cycle so how the piston moves from TDC to BDC? Let us see. At present, the piston is in TDC position. So it will move to the BDC position while the high pressure steam enters in the cylinder head. This way, the piston moves from TDC to BDC and that is work done, PV work done. And this displacement is also called sweep volume or stroke volume that we have also discussed in our previous videos of reciprocating internal combustion engine. So this is the principle of a steam engine as a prime mover and we will consider this PV diagram for analysis. Now we will calculate the work done during one cycle of a Rankine engine cycle. So the cycle is 4, 1, 2 and 3 and these are the volume we call it volume V1 and V2. We all know that in a PV diagram the area under the curves represent work done during one cycle that is area under the curve represents work done per cycle. So if we can calculate the area of this PV diagram that means 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 this area then that will give us the work done during one cycle. So the area of the PV diagram is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. That means this area we have to calculate and if we can calculate this area that means we get the work done during one cycle. So to find out the work done we have to consider the required area of the PV diagram 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. That means this area we have to consider or calculate for finding the work done during one cycle. So this required area is 
equal to that means work done is equal to um, area a b 1 4 that means this area that is equal to a b 1 4 and 1 again then plus the area b c 2 1 b that means this area that is area b c 2 1 and b again and from this we have to deduct the lower rectangular area so minus this rectangle that means area a c 2 3 and a again the first area you see this is rectangle again a b 1 4 and height of the rectangle is a 4 so this height is equal to p 1 and which is a b that is equal to p 1 then plus this part b c 2 1 and b this curve is p v to the power gamma equal to c that we assume that this is a reversible adiabatic process and for any adiabatic process the heat transfer is equal to zero so from first law of thermodynamics for non-flow process the expansion takes place inside the cylinder so there is no flow so that if it is non-flow from first law of thermodynamics we get that work done w is equal to change in internal energy right the work done is equal to work done means area again area means work done and work done means area so that area or work done is equal to u1 minus u2 because the internal energy changes from point 0.1 to point 0.2 then minus the lower rectangular area and for this the height of the rectangle is a3 that is equal to p2 and this distance equal to v2 so this is v2 now from this if we consider this part and this part then we can write that is equal to u1 plus p1 v1 then minus within bracket this part u2 plus p2 v2 so what is u1 plus p1 v1 internal energy plus pv that is equal to specific enthalpy h1 that means enthalpy at point 1 minus h2 enthalpy at point 2 and this is actually we call it the heat drop during the expansion process or enthalpy drop heat drop or enthalpy drop so finally we get the work done in a Rankine engine cycle is equal to the heat drop h1 minus h2 so for that we have to calculate the enthalpy at point 1 and enthalpy at point 1 depends on the quality of the steam at point 1 if the steam is superheated or it may be dry steam or it may be wet steam and for that we need the pressure p1 the saturation temperature ts1 and other conditions based on that we can calculate h1 from steam table and for h2 also the pressure will be p2 saturation temperature ts2 and there will be some dryness fraction from that we can calculate the value of h2 and thus we get the work done during a Rankine engine cycle now the efficiency of Rankine engine cycle Rankine engine that is equal to the same formula that is work output divided by heat supply but in this case if we consider the engine only then there is no process called heat supplied heat is supplied in the boiler but that heat supply we have to consider and therefore the work output already we have calculated h1 minus h2 that means enthalpy at point 1 minus enthalpy at point 2 now what is heat supplied now h1 is the enthalpy at point 1 and that is total enthalpy at point 1 minus 
enthalpy of the water entering into the boiler and we assume that the enthalpy of the water inside the boiler was saturated water so that enthalpy will be h f enthalpy of liquid or water at pressure 2 that means the same pressure p2 we only need three enthalpies enthalpy at point 1 enthalpy at point 2 and enthalpy of water at pressure p2 so from that we can calculate the efficiency of Rankine engine cycle now let us understand what is modified Rankine engine this PV diagram is a PV diagram for a Rankine engine cycle so the processes are 1 2 3 and 4 so this is TDC and this is BDC and you can see how piston moves from TDC to BDC this much land the piston travels from TDC to BDC and this is a very long distance traveled by the piston that we call the length of the stroke now in modified Rankine engine what is done you see the process 1 2 1 2 2 is expansion process and the expansion is not continued up to point 2 but it is terminated at some point say this is the point 5 at which the expansion process is stopped or truncated or terminated by opening the exhaust valve and if the exhaust valve opens immediately pressure reduces to this pressure at constant volume and thereby there will will be loss of work done by this much amount this is loss of work because the area under the curves represent the total work done so now the work done become this much only some work is lost but this is very negligible amount of loss which is actually sufficient enough to overcome the friction between piston and cylinder only and what is the advantage is that the length of the stroke is now reduced to this point so this become the new BDC thereby the piston size is reduced and that is the advantage so this type of cycle in which the expansion is not continued till the end point but it is truncated or terminated at some point like say 5 and that type of Rankine engine cycle is called modified Rankine engine cycle now expansion is stopped at point 5 and say this is 6 and this amount of work is lost now this area represents the work done by the cycle now you can see the TDC and BDC now the position of BDC is this one not this much so the piston moves only this much of distance from TDC to BDC you can see this way the movement of the piston from TDC to BDC is reduced now let us see what is the work done by a modified Rankine engine cycle in the modified Rankine cycle this part will not be there because this is already truncated or terminated to decrease the length of the stroke of the piston so now it is modified Rankine cycle so what is the process actual cycle is 5 1 then 1 2 isentropic expansion then 2 3 is constant volume process in which the valve is open and it is ready for exhaust and from 3 to 4 is exhaust from the cylinder low pressure low temperature steam is exhausted and that is the cycle so uh, work done is as usual the area under the curves so what is the area it will be 4 3 2 1 5 and again 4 so this whole area represents the work done during the cycle modified Rankine agent cycle this area is equal to this area that 
that is area 6, 2, 1, 5 and again 6 plus the lower rectangular area, this area. And we can write area 4, 3, 2, 6 and 4. So you can see this upper area 5, 1, 2, 6, 5. This area is actually the work done by a Rankine engine cycle and which is equal to H1 minus H2. That is the work done. Just now we have deduced the formula. So this is equal to H1 minus H2 upper area. Then plus the rectangular area. The rectangular area, this distance is Vs stroke volume or we can also say this is equal to V2. Then pressure is this pressure minus this pressure. So it is equal to P2 minus PB multiplied by V2. This is the work done by a modified Rankine engine cycle. Uh, similarly, we can calculate the efficiency of the modified Rankine engine cycle and uh, that is same the work output divided by QS. QS will remain same but work output is will be this much. So this is all about modified Rankine cycle. So thank you for watching.